Well, switching gears here at 11 Alive, we are all about facts, not fear. And the pandemic is top of mind for so many of you. So let's break down the data that really matters. Georgia's COVID-19 numbers are creeping up. Today, the average positivity rate hit nine, hit 8.9 percent. That's up from 2 percent just one month ago. Public health officials want that number to stay below 5 percent to slow the spread of the virus. The numbers forcing the CDC to recommend all students and staff wear masks in schools. Gwinnett County Schools is the latest district to adjust its policy, but not every district is following the recommendations. Our Paolo Suro explains. Despite the CDC's new guidance making masks mandatory, even for vaccinated students, school districts including Cobb County, Marietta City Schools, and Henry County are standing their ground. As a school system that offered in-person learning for more than 75% of the year last year, we really exercised this muscle of uh, identifying proven mitigation techniques. Superintendent Mary Elizabeth Davis says its low COVID-19 cases during its summer programs signaled that it could keep its optional mask policy in place. 8,600 people on campus six weeks we had a total of three positive cases. I really think the key is the monitoring of substantial spread. She says about 60% of Henry County teachers have shown an interest in the vaccine. Meanwhile, hours after the CDC's announcement, the state's biggest school district, Gwinnett County, said it's making masks mandatory. That's had the community talking from a substitute teacher who's asthmatic. I can't physically put myself um, in that position in the classroom because I know how the schools are set up. A majority of the classrooms don't even have windows and some of the hallways are very narrow. To parents like Michael Tweedy, whose kindergarten son has a learning disability. Critical that he gets that face-to-face, -face, unmasked attention. He's got a speech delay. How are you going to teach speech if you can't even see the teacher's mouth? Children's Hospital tells 11 Alive it has seen an increase in positive tests in its urgent care centers and emergency departments, many cases being mild, and currently has four patients hospitalized with COVID-19.